Hi everybody, this is Carrick with Angry Centaur Gaming. So today I'm going to do a quick 25 minute quick look at uh, Grav, which is, you know how it is with like, once Minecraft came out, uh, a lot of games sort of jumped on that bandwagon of survival uh, in, in different areas, different groups, different graphics, uh, different styles, different themes. And Grav is sort of a futuristic one where you can, it, it seems to be based around a lot of multiplayer as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, there, there's not a lot of options. Um, I'm just going to, oh, okay, we're, okay, it looks like their server window's a little messed up, um, so, and that's fine, it's our early access, maybe, did I pick the right one, I want to do lowest resolution, or lowest, okay, there we go, so, anyway, I, you know, I want to run you guys through this and sort of see what you guys think, see what I think of the game, uh, it is early access. I asked the developers uh, quite a few times for some access before this and unfortunately didn't get it. I'm probably just not a big enough channel, uh, you know, for that. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys what it's about. I love these kind of games. You know, I have I have like Cube World and all that. I also have Planet Explorers, which I'm going to show you either today or tomorrow. And it's always fun to look at these games. And, you know, they're coming in early access alpha, which means they're starting to ask for money. So, uh, you know, as long as you remember it's an early access alpha, I think we can also just look at it and sort of identify if we think it's worth it. Um, I've got this on a RAID SSD, and you can see it's still fairly slow with loading. Typical. Early access alpha, things aren't going to be optimized at all. I've got it on high graphics, uh, super high actually, 1440p, and so most likely we're going to end up having to, uh, you know, to turn that down here, but we'll go ahead and jump in and see what it looks like. I'm running a fairly powerful system, uh, you know, I've got the newest Intel i7 and uh, Haswell. I think I'm at 4.2 gigahertz on the on the brand new ones, and uh, 9800 GTX, 32 gigs of RAM, a couple other odds and ends around there. This thing takes a boatload of RAM, by the way, people. It crashed on me earlier when I first tried to record this, and it had already used up seven gigs in the executable, which I don't mind that because I have a bunch of RAM that's just sitting there, uh, so much so that at times, you know, I, I've done RAM disks for lo speed loading games, stuff like that. I think when it comes down to it, actually, to be brutally honest, I really don't mind that, that they use a lot of graphics, but wow, this takes a long time to create a, a level here. This may take a few minutes is right. But that's okay. You know, again, th this type of game, man, I'm such a fan. Cube World, I hasn't seen the updates that I've wanted, but it, it, even to run around the world's really enjoyable. I am such a fan of Minecraft. As you guys know, I'll play anything. So I'm, I'm cool with that. Uh, whoa, look at the fucking... Grav is like most other uh, survival adventure games out there today. Your goal is simply to survive. There are many things to do. Build a base, explore, harvest, kill or befriend other players. One of the things to do is probably replace your combat knife with better weapons. Get out there and harvest some wood and fossils to build an armory. Okay, wood and fossils. That's... Press F8 to open the control guide. Um, so, we're going to chat. Okay, so that's, that's easy enough. Hit and escape to do that. So this is the graphics. Well, first... What the fuck is that? Level 1, tough Mr... Well, that's an enemy. Okay, so first of all, I have to say, I'm enamored already with the graphics. I love this soft look graphically. You know, guys, you're going to hear me say this all the time. The more alien the world, the more uh, almost haunting it is, the more I enjoy it. I am such a fan of that kind of stuff. And frankly, I'm getting 47 frames a second at high resolution. Not... That could be way worse. I don't think this is a weapon. Is it? Let's see, I'm probably gonna die here. Ooh, ooh, I don't know. Oh, press E to speak with it. Sorry, this is a pet. Hello, I would love to give you a speed run booster pet. It will increase how fast you can run. I just need the following to... Hello, friend. <laughs> sorry, sorry, brother. Cool, cool, cool. So, you know what? We're going to do some walking around in this. And uh, I can say right now, man, I'm, I'm fucking absolutely digging the look. Graphically, they've gone with a very soft look to things. Uh, grass drawn is not too bad. It's, it's a ways out there. It's still viewable. Uh, coming up on these trees to see if they turn into leaves or if these trees are like almost fleshy creatures. Oh, man, they're almost fleshy creatures. That is creepy. Ah, love it. Yeah, this is great. Let's see. 
Tough, aggressive flying bug. Let's do this. Oh, shit. I don't... Did it die? No. That was me getting hurt. Guys, I'm... You don't see me die right away here. There's no life... Oh, that's me. It's me getting hurt. That's me dying. Okay. So that's my first death. Uh, I'm thinking that two... It's called a Mark II. I'm thinking it's actually not a gun. It might be some kind of exploration. Slapped by aggressive flying bugs. So here's my body. Lootable. I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, Lootate it. Let's see. E. And uh, once again... Yeah, see, I'm doing damage this time. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, look! I killed it! Wow. Equip a multi-tool to harvest. So we'll go to F8 here. No multi-tool that I can see, which probably means... Going into inventory here. Oh, no. M multi tool is the gun. Okay, so we go here. I'm harvesting wood. Man, that gun's laser looks awesome. It's got all kinds of Sith-like looking stuff to it. Let's see if we can destroy this tree completely. Whoa! Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Oh, and it disappears at the end. That's a guy. Now, from what I understand, it is player versus player. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to basically keep guys away from me. Hopefully not get attacked by them. Get some wood. And get some rock over here. Graphically... It, it, it's running really well. Optimization is also fairly good. I'm, I'm really actually quite surprised. Okay, that rock. That ain't doing shit. I'm a little afraid to go in the water for the fear that there's creatures in there. Brightdale combusting level 6-7. Let's get some more wood here. There's that creature that looks like a box. It's a little bit like a claptrap, I guess, is up there in the woods. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, so you can see that there's actually... There's a good number of people running around in this part of the level. Man, look at that. I know you guys are probably tired of me talking about that kind of stuff, but I do love looking at the graphics and, you know, especially something like this where it looks all alien. Hello, consumer. Uh, can't give me anything. I'm just, uh, I'm also quite surprised how well it runs. It's smooth. It also, if you look here, I don't find that, you know, there there are a couple things there, but I don't find it too cumbersome looking right now with what you can do. Um, if you know what I mean, like, a lot of games, when you start, you open up that controls pad, and you're just, you're a little sick to your stomach. Level 6, Combusting Weary Warrior. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip out on that. I'm not gonna try to fight that. So, I know it said, Wooden Rock. And you can see over on the left, people are talking about, looks like, what they've been finding. So, I'm going to go up here, where see all this rock up here. I'm going to see if that indicates that this is an area where we can go ahead and harvest that. Looks like there's at least a couple buildings already built. Now, those could be by people, or they could be by the game itself. I'm not quite sure. It looks like it's getting darker. I don't know if you guys have played Outcast, um, but this has that general, very colorful look of Outcast. And, man, you know I'm a fan. Press E to interact with Travs. Okay, so this is somebody else's inventory that they've made. Very cool. Or armory, I'm sorry. I need fossils and wood, I'm sorry. But, oh. 
So I fossil block wood plank. So right now I've got to make a flare gun or a co okay, so you know how it is, guys. You start out trying to figure out like how you make everything. I've got wood. Uh, I need fossils. Oh shit! It's getting to be dark time. Go ahead and do some more. Oh. Don't know if it hurt you, but I figure. Fuck it. Okay. Go to this other guy's uh, space over here. Can't tell if you can switch uh, views. I will probably try that at a later time. I'm just looking around to see if there's any kind of rock. Press fireside campsite. Whoa. Okay. So, see, I've got 78 wood, but I can't ignite it. And, oh, there we can. All right. Haha. <laughs> Very cool. I'm assuming there's some survival stuff from that. Unfortunately, I'm also seeing that I've got no, um, or I'm running out of food. F8, let's see if there's a way to sleep. Do, 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 do. I got dance point, build, build. We'll try build and see. I don't think I can build anything, but yeah, I can't. Oh, wow. She it. So I got more than enough wood. Now I'm looking for fossils is what it says. Easy enough. All right, so fossils. What the fuck? Those two, okay, two, two creatures attacking each other. Look at this over here. Looks like some signs of civilization. I love this neon soaked look. From what I can tell, there's also a bunch of things you can do. Now, when it comes to sound, I've got my um, headphones. I've got a, some positional audio that I can hear. Not too bad, to be brutally honest. There's actually, whoa. Interact with bread rolls uplink. Now, I believe that means I die and respawn here. I just created some wood blocks. Very cool. That's his factory. Science station. Wow, there's a lot of stuff you can uh, create and build. Very cool. I also hear... Oh, here's some guys. Bad guys fighting. Go up in. Somebody's done a pretty good job creating a little tiny space for themselves. It's not amazingly huge or anything. I need some more wooden blank, er, planks. Fossil block. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to attack a bad guy. Hoping that level 6, my ace. Level 6. Here's the thing. One of those guys was hurt, so maybe... I was hoping there'd be some fossils here, where that thing... Jeez, those guys are going crazy on that poor dude. Whoa, that creature is sweet looking. Ooh. That's a quest giver right there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Dang it. Got it. I gotta give him kudos, man. Uh, that creature looked fucking weird. Alright, there. So here's my stuff. There's my. Um, sliced and diced by a slime, is what it says. Picking up my uh, wood planks that I got. And here's some birds. Man, look at that. Sky. Very cool. Super stable, too. 
at least so far, for me, I haven't gone online and seen what other people are experiencing. Uh, if you're if you watch my video today for Kingdom Come Deliverance, you'll see that I was having some issues with um, a little bit of a weird lag in that game when I was moving around, and it definitely doesn't appear here. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured. I'm not gonna make this. There's no way. Wow, that killed me fast. Whoa. What's up, Pichon? All I really want to do is see... Okay. Currently, the world is all kinds of fucked up. People are just killing each other. Enemies. Look at that shit. Okay, great. Did it kill it? No, it still hasn't killed it. Now a bug dog is coming in. Okay. So, it killed the, what do you call it, the slime, I guess. What I'm trying to do now is see if I can get close enough to see if it left fossils. I'm seeing no fossils. I'm out of here. I think, I think I've got an enemy following me here. Jesus, what was that? Something out there it screamed, and I saw what looked like a human running at like 100 miles an hour. That was scary. What is that out there? What the fuck? A brutish night killer. That thing is sweet. And it's going to kill me? Nope. Let's see if they fight. Okay, no, it hates me for some odd reason. Just me. Oh shit. I would not doubt if it can one kill one hit kill me too. Well, one thing I've learned, place is not necessarily motherfucking safe. Go get some more wood. Man. A lot of enemies right there. Or actually, let's see if we can get some more. Jeez. It's just enemies everywhere. Here's some wood. Shit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? I was so far away. Uh, come on, man. Come on. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> okay. So one thing we learned. Territorial motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm just shooting into the ground hoping that at some point... We find some rocks. I'm gonna head. Actually, I'm gonna do some exploring. Look at that alien look, guys. I hope you like it as much as I do. I'm such a fan for that kind of stuff. It's got a little bit of an avatar look with the floating rocks. There's a tree and a level six combusting slime, which I believe is the, the slime that killed me last time. Oh, here's a fern. There's a fern and a bug. Boy, they've got the enemy amounts uh, seemingly fucking high. Makes exploring just a little bit... Somebody attacking me? Ooh, what's this? We found something. Gems. Excellent. So we're getting some gems. And a gym shot. Whoa. Damn, that enemy has chased me halfway across the landscape here. Oh, that's funny. That rock straight up there looks like two heads. 
connected a little bit. All right, so. So I don't know what gyms do, but I see something right up here where I'm aiming. I'm going to head, head there. You can tell there's a lot of stuff to do in the game, though, which I really like. What in the hell is that? Before I get too close. Is it an old... Is it fossils? Oh, it is. It's fossils, guys. Now, what that means, I couldn't tell you. What the fuck? Look at all the bad guys around here. Jesus. Uh, I, I don't know if I have to kill enemies for them to go to fossils, or if perhaps you just have to go to places like elephant graveyards kind of thing. Some gems there, but I saw a bipedal-looking, fairly scary-looking motherfucker right there. See that guy? Right there. He thinks he's hiding. He ain't hiding. I see him. Oh, there's humans everywhere. Now, this shows the alpha part. There's a lot of people just running around um, with no, like, signs of, I guess what you'd say, culture or, or life or anything like that. Just... Or, or civilization. That's just, again, because this is an early alpha. They're just getting the world drawn. Getting it working. Because there's a guy up there. And level 5 something. He's... Oh. I got one a while ago. Where are you? That was a dude. Real. Cool. Now we're going to go down here. And we'll see. That was, uh, you could hear other people talking, so it's got a proximity thing for voice over the internet, which is very cool, actually. Well, could be cool. I know a lot of you guys are like me, where you've had bad experience. Well, a lot of you guys aren't like me, sorry. I haven't had bad experiences on the internet. Mostly with, uh, you know, with people talking and stuff, but I know a lot of people have. So what my hope is, is gather these fossils, gather whatever this is, just because it looks cool, like blueberries. Oh, what? Maybe I don't have the right tool and build myself a single thing because we're already <laughs> we're already a little ways into this quick look so a couple things one they've nailed the graphics right now it's a mixture of like enemy mine avatar and a couple other movies i really like it two it's fairly fucking stable and three the special effects and just the sound effects are all really cool. It's got a really cool feel to it. Right now, we'll, we'll find out here in about two seconds. But what the fuck? So apparently we got a Jacob's Ladder moment there. <laughs> Look at that. That shit's creepy. But I think I've got enough stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my build. Armory. Look at that. I built an armory. Ladies and gentlemen, Carrick's Armory, level one. Oh, yeah. And here, we can build pistol ammo, even though I don't have a pistol. We can build a rotted wood club. A rusty pistol. We need cut gems and ore. There's actually a lot of stuff when you start out that you can build. Let's go ahead and build a... Rotted wood club. I need a fossil. I need wood planks and a fossil block. How about upgrading this? I need more wood. We'll do that before we leave. Before we finish this up. Where's some wood? First of all, what in the shit is all this? This is just. That laser's awesome. I love it. Oh, shit. There's a bad guy. He's level 7. You know what? Never, ever follow my advice when it comes to where to build your shit. I gotta remember where it is. There it is. Right next to that guy's house. The guy's like, what the fuck? This dude's just building shit right at my house. Doesn't this look different to you? Oh, there we go. Or... Fossils.
fossils done begotten. I like how... I, I just overall like how everything is gathered as well. Very happy with it so far. T you guys think I can take a tough slime? I, I think that there's no chance in fucking hell. Oh! Damn it. Now, we may do uh, a walkthrough later in the next coming week or so. If you guys noticed, there was a quest giver. I'm going to leave my... Because we're going to end this quick look here in a second. I'm going to try to see if I can leap through this. I can. Oh, well, wait a minute. Look at that. Somebody else's armory. That's good. What I was going to say was um, there was a quest giver, it said. And so back at the old uh, campground. So we're going to try to meander our way back into the forested area and see how quests are given out before I finish this walkthrough. Music's got a little bit of a 16-bit vibe to it. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you'll like it, I think. The creature is pissy. I don't think it wants me anywhere near it. Luckily, you know, I'm on this server. So other people are here. They built stuff, so I don't... Right now, I'm not doing a private server. So they've got enough armories around that it's not actually going to cause me an issue leaving mine out there in the middle of nowhere. Is this a quest giver? I believe it is. It looks... No, he's a tough gambler. A level 5 tough gambler. <laughs> so here we go, back down into this valley. Wow. I'm not... I don't... Let's uh, look into the options here. Uh, let's see what it looks like with everything off except for the music of course so this is what the game looks like and i'm gonna say it does not look bad this is a game looks like right now when you have things like um post-processing off which i'm assuming includes that includes some bloom includes some different lighting effects light shafts of course makes a smaller difference and in fact i could see a lot of people not wanting light shafts dynamic shadows of course adding the most so you have a couple choices there to get your graphics, uh, your speed up to spec. Brightdale level one tough just popped up on my... Can I sprint? No. Uh, no. Yes, there is no sprint. Yeah, I like the music. Okay, let's do it, guys. Level one, right? Fucking A. Take this shit. We need our first hit, though. Ooh. Okay, so... Hmm. I leveled up, and I'm not 100% sure what that even means. So, I also got... I believe I got the pristine acorn. Uh, or invisible essence. From that creature. Something weird dropped. So, very cool. So, I don't know what the levels are. I'll have to investigate that on the next part of the walkthrough. I like the animation, or the Japanimation jump. Ha ha! Let's get some of this. Now you guys got to realize there's hundreds of you know things you can build and stuff like that i'm jumping in pretty much with everybody else so there's not you're not going to see a lot so if it feels barren to you understand that number one it's an alpha number two uh i'm playing on servers that from what i can tell are just a, a couple hours old and they've already got shit built so looking for a quest giver i believe there was one He looked like a human. Huh. 
Well, I guess that's it. I can't find him. Um, either he died or it's one of those random spawn things or it draws in. You know, who knows? There's hundreds of different issues. So at the end of this, I have to say, honestly, I'm fairly surprised. I'm digging the overall look. I'm digging the way things are, you know, crafted uh, or not crafted. I'm sorry, but how uh, resources are, are taken from the world, how they appear, the way the trees are. Everything has a very cool alien look. And for an alpha, remembering that this is an alpha... Uh, there's, it's surprisingly solid, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for it to just crash, and it's possible I just got lucky, but, hasn't happened, wait a minute, wait, wait, is that a quest giver, or is that, like, no, it, it's a level six combusting weary wanderer, it's, they, they've got the randomness of, like, the, uh, destiny weapons, um, creator, name creator. Combusting fast, slithery snake oil dagger of plus one wantonness. Always something really crazy. Go up here and rest in the shade. So that's it, guys. I hope you liked the video. I think the game looks great. Whoa, there's something. See that way over there? It's a dude fighting. It, that's a human fighting some creatures. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. I really dig it. The atmosphere is high. It seems to, I mean, be solid be stable. I can't say it's worth the money yet, but as a quick look, I have actually enjoyed the hell out of it. I've uh, been able to craft one thing. Looks like crafting isn't that hard if you understand any of the Minecraft style stuff. There's, I've probably counted a, a dozen to a do, maybe two dozen different creatures, and that is just in this first little area. So, so far, digging it. Anyway, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you disliked it, thumbs down. Peace out.